Shalom, la bachayaryam shal yasha'ala. Peace be to the Lord's elect of the nation of Israel, which the elect consists of only Israelites, particularly speaking of the 144,000 prophets called Ayashim, are all men which are chosen before the foundation of the earth, and they are the, the prophets, Hanabayayim, which will speak the words of the Lord, Yehovah Shai, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, in the Holy Tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew, and will, of course, lead the nation through, of course, Yehovah Shemiah Shai to salvation, of course, through the words which is of Yehovah Shai, which Yehovah, all right, gave the word, or actual Yehovah Shai is the word of the. Of the of the most high so of course you have a one number multitude which is of men women and children which are not prophets but they of course are of the election which shall receive the salvation which will have mercy they will have the tawa along with the prophets and will receive salvation from the coming destruction which is soon upon of us Right, which is here pretty much with the coming economic collapse, the pestilence, the race wars, famines, civil disorder, of course the apparitions, economic collapse, amongst other things, World War Three and thermonuclear missiles hit this place and the invasion of Yahweh Shai to the world and cause Jesus Christ and his angels coming to deliver his elect of course to the elect I say Shalom Shalom La Bachayarium Shalom Yashala also I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well Shin Yekabad La Shalom Yachim Nawa was a Konium Nawa Shalom Yashala double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone who well and slaki of course i didn't say all praises to our power which is yahweh which is a true almighty and powerful name of heavenly father in the paleo hebrew and his only begotten son's name is yahweh shai who will even cause jesus christ bahashemi in the name of god meaning spirit kodash is holy charter in the paleo hebrew Language that has been returned back unto the Hebrew Israelites, consisting of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. You are the Lord's chosen people, and those Israelite foreigners who have been scattered abroad through the various nations, in whom, due to the mixing and ming mingling of the nation of Israel, are likened unto the speckled bird who stick out that may, of course, may look like the so called Negro, Latino, and the American, but through their seed, through the way of the Father. Are Israelites, and that's of course determined to the, the spirit. Okay, you try the spirit by the spirit, whether they are the power. It's the spirit that bear witness that we are the children of the power. Shemia Mafa, my name is Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, Baba Ball in Babylon, which is America, coming again with another my Lamadium, the wee lesson or little lesson due to Racha Kodash, the Holy Truth, or the uh, Holy Spirit. My mouth of truth. So I have here, which you can see, kind of see on this screen. It says here, public toilets, sinks are installed in Kensington, and were vandalized on the first day. And this here is an efforts of the city, this municipality, here to combat the uncleanliness that that is happening due to a outbreak of pestilence of the hepatitis A. In particular neighborhood, which is Kensington, which is the biggest open air drug market in the United States. It's been declared a national emergency as well. And they have, of course have a agenda which they're trying to accomplish due to the need of profit 
the Edomites, the wicked who rule over the earth currently, which the elite are Edomites, those Rothschilds, those bankers and such, banking families, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, Gettys, just to name some, due to profit and greed, they destroy neighborhoods, communities, in which here you have it the people are in suffering due to drug addiction substance abuse to the point where this uncleanliness has broke out which is prophecy to occur it was said before by the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai written before in ancient times and is occurring new or the new or now so Without further ado, we'll get into this. It says here, uh, the mobile trailers, part of an effort to combat the hepatitis A, are locked up overnight. You have a, a particular project which is called the Kensington Resilience Project, I believe it's called. And as I was mentioning, due to greed and such, there's a hidden agenda behind what they're doing in that neighborhood which is nothing but a gentrification of that neighborhood to push out the poor and bring in of course more people from a demograph of our social class of urban professionals who want to live by city but can of course or can of course afford it or in the case a lot of the Edomites out of Wamium which is the wicked okay they of course choose to live in this they neighborhoods they believe it has character they believe that there's a culture with it living within the city despite the fact that these people come from the suburbs and they of course grew up in these communities and these Edomites the wicked of them the elite of them that is that I'm speaking particularly of they are moving out the poor because they see financial gain within these neighborhoods and building new homes housing apartments various condominiums in these rundown areas which they've neglected for years and they of course appearing to help the people so called people which the people pretty much are in that neighborhood living there have to deal with people who self medicate substance abuse and they're taking these opioids they go to this area which is Kensington to get these opioids to escape the pain of their miserable lives due to of course the wicked ruling and of them they have in of course temperance or any form or lacking a form of godliness to of course respect thy temple these people have overrun this area to the point and where the actual people whom live there because a lot of the people that are there, and they are even from the area, they're from different suburbs of the Philadelphia tri-state area. They come there and they come back. That's who powerful these opioids, which is a uh, going into the opioids or pain medications and such, primarily uh, synthetic. They have the, fent the fentanyl. Okay, they have, of course, the heroin and these other different drugs as well and they're destroying the people destroying the community have destroyed the people to the point where like no they just want to push out these people get this uh community for their profit it's the new area in which they want to profit off of these edomites rich edomites which are into real estate and this is that's the true agenda a true plan behind these various projects the Kensington Resilience Project 
such and why they are doing these things which um, it says here that the fuss of the several public toilets and sinks have been installed in Kensington which this would be in a, Kensington is in a area you call it like the Batlands and such North Philly and such it says a move Philadelphia officials hope will stem the neighborhood's ongoing hepatitis A, a outbreak right, just to get a wee bit of background on hepatitis A I'll look it up just to give you a definition hepatitis A is an infectious disease of the liver caused by the hepatol or hepatovirus or HAV in many cases, the many have few or no symptoms, especially in young. Now, or I, 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 I am the I, 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 I'm sorry. Can I get that Hebrew word, dude? I, I, I'm, or I, I, I'm. Uh, the time between infection and symptoms, and who's developed them, in between two or six weeks. When symptoms occur, they typically last eight weeks, and they include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Jan juice fever and abdominal pain. Uh, around 15 or 10 to 15 percent of people experience recurrence of symptoms during the last six months in initial infection. Acute liver failure can rarely occur, and that's basically it's more commonly on the elderly. These drugs actually, when you go into the opioids that they're doing, uh, they actually deteriorate. The appearance, the countenance of these people to the point where they actually look 20, 30 years beyond their actual age and such. And it happens very rapidly. You'll have a woman or a teenager come come to the age, you know, 19 and such. She will be 19 and looking like a, a 40 year old. And you just think of it going on further. Okay, this, these, these, these drugs are of no value. They're destruction to the people. Okay, and that's what you get with Esau. So it says here, installed on Monday, the two restroom trailers had hand sanitizing stations or activated on Wednesday and promptly got a warm Philly welcome. On its first day of action, the soap dispensers at Kensington Avenue and F Street was tipped over into a trash can and dented. You have, of course, demons shot him, but that place is overrun by, okay, wicked spirits. They, of course, they care about these things. You think that these opioid addicts care about sanitary conditions? You have it where the common block in Kensington is overrun by, of course, literally a sea of addicts. And they sleep on the ground. They do their their drugs right there, right there. They can, of course, do it right there in plain sight amongst children or whomever walking by. Okay, you have other residents who live amongst it. And a lot of the time it is not, of course, uh, pros prosecuted. Okay, the various laws are, are they prosecuted. And that's, of course, Esau Edom with his wickedness, okay? Let me start with this precept too. This is uh, the book of Maccabees, which is an apocrypha, um, chapter one, and, and starting at verse nine. And it says here, and after his death, and this speaking of Alexander the Great, creep, all right, or what many people call Alexander the Creep, which is an Edomite. And he says here, and after his death, they all put on crowns upon them themselves. So did their sons after many years. And you have, of course, Alexander the Creep, who, of course, came into rulership. Over, of course, he ruled in the Greek Empire and such. And when you go into it, um, he had his, after his death, he had his uh, empire, which was parted between his major generals okay which you go into his four generals which should be you have your Ptolemy you have your Cassander your Lysimaeus 
and he also have I believe we should have to check back again so I believe this is uh, Cassander Lassimus let me just make sure I just check because I want to say Seleucid but I want to just make sure I check because sometimes of course the obviously the flesh <laughs> kind of be of course play tricks on you so you get it give me a wee moment So, yeah, you had the Seleucid, the Ptolemaic, the Ptolemies, Cassandra, the Lassimaeus. All right, so. Going further, to this Slakia, it says here, and evils were multiplied in the earth. So, of course, since you had the Edomites come into the rulership, you had evil of course multiply within the earth where of course you had Alexander the creep which he conquered you know, of course it goes going to the Persian the Medes that empire and such you had of course due to him ruling the wicked ruling Hellenizing the earth okay with their philosophy and such okay which is wicked and they, of course, push it upon the, the Israelites, okay, and all the other nations. You have wickedness multiplied within the earth, okay? So, you have things such as, which now we're per pushing for it. We're in, of course, the, the rebirth of the Roman Empire, okay, which they're Edomites as well, who took over actual original Japhetic people their actual nationality but they claim of course to be the original Romans these Edomites but going on further actual Edomites that ruled okay ancient Rome you go into the some of the various Caesars and such yeah there these are these are Edomites okay you had Jake we of course ruled Rome too but that's another lesson for another time Okay, so going further in this uh, lesson, I want to go to the next precept, which is going to be the book of Job, right, Job 13 and 8, Let's see if I can get it, Ayawab Job. So this is the book of Job 13. Isn't it eight slack yeah? Thirteen and four. And it says, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Ye forgers of lies right there. So you know, when you go into a doctor, they, of course, are falsifiers. That doesn't mean falsify, to falsify. They're physicians of no value. Of course, the things that they prescribe to the people, they give them 
is nay a pure actual cure. Okay, it actually has side effects and many of the times and it worsens the actual ailment which a person may have. You have people who may have been injured, okay, and then they of course prescribe them these opioids knowing that they will have a dependency on it chemically within their brain and then that creates that dependency which then enables these various big pharma companies to make millions upon trillions of dollars and such and you have the people who are just basically in a zombified state okay they're they of course being cured they give these people these different <coughs> pain medications and destroy them, okay? Let's uh, go for it. To the point you have it with these people, like I'm, I'm gonna show you we um, site here, the image. You have some of these different uh, people who were like this particular YouTube channel, you can check it. It's called ATL Vlogs, or ATG actually. Slach, excuse me. He is a former drug addict, or recovering, or rehabbed drug addict, and he is, I believe, a, a barber. And he does these different forms of what he calls charitable acts. Giving a dude a lineup ain't a charitable act, okay? It actually is, uh, you breaking the law, <laughs> literally. Giving these, these, uh, dudes lineups and stuff, cause, you know, you shouldn't mar the corners of thy beard. Alright, make any baldness on upon thy head. Now, you have it where he's doing this, obviously. And many of these people think they're going to, to, of course, uh, basically be saved, delivered right now because of these different acts, and it's not. You gotta accept y'all by Shimmy Ashai and follow all stash commandments to the best of your ability. Now just going into it, just to show you. You know, and this is this is K and A, this is Kensington, this is Kensington and Allegheny, this area. You know, and this is a, a normal site which you'll see out there, which you'll see a lot of the different volunteers from different charitable organizations with a look as if they're trying to help the people, but this ain't helping these people. These people are gone. They're destroyed. It's literally the walking deep down there. Okay. See, when you go into it, you see these people are all on drugs. And they literally look like demons. Like, <laughs> manifested. Okay. You know, waiting for it. You know, one dude, he waiting. This dude is literally dipping out. You know, waiting for a lineup. This is insane. This dude, half eyes can kind of even open. And it's basically the whole environment doing there is walk up. They're literally like with kids on a, on a field trip. Just going, copping, hustling up, getting various drugs, doing it out in the open and dipping out, which you can see here. You're going to see a woman. It's, uh, she looked elderly, but like I said, you have uh, these drugs destroy and age you and your appearance literally just they're stuck all right okay with what all her belongings in a, in a wee cot there okay i mean it's destroyed this place is destroyed kensington is destroyed philadelphia is destroyed america is destroyed okay it's being destructured okay just so you can understand Getting a lineup, Defo isn't isn't it going to do any better? All right. So, you know, you can of course check out this, um, you know, this channel, this page. You know, this is a as I described, people just sitting, you know, on the ground, and you got needle drop off boxes. Oh, you, know, uh, you know, drop off your your needles that they do. Which that, of course, in violation of Leviticus chapter 19 and 20. You have it. 
Nether rune. We have different dudes that, of course, sell clean syringes. I mean, these people don't care. I mean, this this is ridiculous, oh dear. But you know, this is just some of the wee sites you can see. You know, people out there hustling and stuff, drug trap boys. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we saw, of course, walking the beat with their little transit cops and such. Okay, and this is it. You see it? You can see here, dead, deep. I, you kind of see there. I mean, if I can blow it up, let me see. Try to blow it up. This is it. This literally eat, look Edomites, Jakes, okay. You know, just there. Out doing their drugs. Out. This like lady look literally dead, dead. Like she's overdosed or something. Okay. This is what you get with Esau ruling. Okay. Now Esau he wants to come with literally the solution of the problem he of course created, and that's wicked. Okay. Let's get the next precept. Let's do the spirit. This is going to be. Let's see, we're gonna get a um, book of Ecclesiasticus. Chapter ten. We're gonna go down to verse 17 I believe man, just starting when you out man when you just start to be the beginning of the precepts real quick I'm gonna bring this this is Ecclesiastes 10 and 1 it says a wise judge will instruct his people in the government of a prudent man is well ordered Obviously, we were ruled over by a base man, okay? Esau, Edom, whom have the kingdom currently, the rulership, right? I thought right now. It says, as a judge of the people is himself. So, of course, the people are wicked due to, of course, who are ruling, okay? Because, of course, he has gross darkness covering the, the people of the earth, okay? He putting it, pushing out all of these, these wayward. Philosophies outside of the law, statute, commandments, so Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Right, so it says here, and I'm going to get precepts on that as well. I'll put quad in precepts. It says, So are his officers in what manner a man, the ruler, uh, what matter of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. If you had the wicked ruling, you have a bunch of people that's wicked, all right? Literally. It says, an unwise king destroyed his people. The, the Edomites literally destroy their own people. Most of their people, their people are on these different opioids, okay? They lack, of course, they don't even have, they didn't have, of course, a spiritual belief in their bodies, okay? So they just do uh, drugs, okay? They don't seek the Lord at all. And you have two-thirds of other people being the Israelites. They, of course, have wandered out the way of understanding are in the congregation of the dead. They're literally walking in the way of the heathen. And they're destroying themselves as well, following after the heathen and such. Chief heathen being Esau Edom. It reads on, it says, And the unwise destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them that are in authority, the city shall be inhibited. inhabited. It says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord and in due time he will set over it to one that is profitable. going to give it unto Yahweh Shai and of course King David and the rest of the 144,000 prophets under which will be the governing body. Alright. And you have of course the elect one third. Alright. Are going to rule this place. The earth Aratazah and Tazadak. You know all righteousness and such. All right, Tazadak, you were Tazadak. All right, justly. All right, it's gonna be I will on forever. So going down anyway, this is going to be that book of Sirach chapter ten, uh, set seventeen. Or actually twelve. Okay, so twelve. Let's go to it. Give me a wee moment. That's just through the spirit of the Lord want this work to go. It 
It says here. Start. It's um, 16. Or 17. Actually, here it says, If an adversary come upon thee. And Esau Edom, just so you know, is the adversary. He is, of course, Shatan. Okay. Which is, of course, what? Enemy or adversary. He is Satan upon earth. Okay. You have, of course, the spiritual demon Shatan. You have his physical counterpart, Shatan, which is, of course, Esau, Edom, the wicked. It says, if adversary, advers adversity come upon thee, all right, if adversity, slachia, so that word is uh, adversity, but, you know, just so you can get an understanding, too. If adversity come upon thee, slachia, it says, thou shalt find him there first, all right, which you, you, um, people... You know, due to, of course, all of the inequality within the earth, you know, all of the wickedness that you do and have nay solution, you, of course, turn to Esau. So it says here, thou shalt find him there first. And that's what the first thing you do is you go, uh, the doctor, what's wrong with me? And, of course, he goes and prescribes you an opioid. And that, that leads you to what? A life of destruction it destroys your family. Your family, of course, kind of help you because you don't they want to help yourself. Okay, you go to rehab, you relapse back into it. Okay, you hit the streets, the block, and maybe they, of course, can find you. Then you have it where just a whole cycle and a downward spiral of destruction. Okay, literally. By the time, of course, you find this person, they are either dead or in jail. Okay. Or you find them in there, they literally don't look like anything living, right? They look like a zombie. zombie. Reading on, it says, Though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. Okay, and that's, of course, Esau. Okay, he pretends to bring you help, support, aid. All right, but he will undermine you, okay? He says, He will shake his heat and clap his hands and whisper much. And change his countenance, his face, okay? Because, you know, you have it there. Literally, preach the scriptures speak of how the enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit, which is a pit. Obviously, this um, this whole system is a pit, okay, into a trap. It says he will sweep with his eyes, but if he finds opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood, all right? It's heavy. All right, go into that word for undermine. Undermine, undermine means to erode the base or foundation, dig or excavate from beneath, all right, to subvert, undercut, sabotage, okay? So he, he tries to help you, but he's actually sabotaging thee, all right? Underneath, which, when you go into it, this dude, of course, has these various philosophies, okay, which are wicked. Let's go into it. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk. And I'm gonna bring out Habakkuk 2 and 15. Or right, I could start, let me see, 2 and 9. It says, Woe to him that covetous that evil covetousness to his house. Alright, Esau has, of course, everything, the, the fatness of, he has everything under his objection. So this is literally his house right now. Okay? Um, it says, uh, Unto his house with his own people too. All right, house by Yah. Okay, his own people. It says that he may set his nest on high, and that Esau. It says that he may be delivered from the power of evil. All right, and Esau. You know where you going to it. Esau doesn't, of course, put himself amongst you. You rest you low um, masses or people of a low class Edomites. Okay, he don't live in that same community. He moves out. He lives in the best places and such. Okay, you speak of um, <laughs> living in Bucks County and all these different, a lot of they, these so-called officials, they don't, don't even live in the city, okay, at all. All right, it says, Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people. Yeah, of course, the Israelites cutting us off from our heritage. Okay, which 
our people are in the midst of this opioid crisis as well. Okay, it says and has sinned against thy soul. It says, for the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam out of the timber shall answer it. And it says, woe to him that buildeth a town by with blood, which he has did with America. Okay, he literally took this place by force from the aboriginals, which were be the original inhabitants of America, which is so-called North American Indians, the tribes of God. Wa, uh, you have of course the Seminole Indians. Okay, tribes of Reuben, Raban, and you have of course um, the rest of the Americas, which he took. You know, Issachar. Okay, so-called Mexicans. All right. So going on, it says here, and you have of course the West Indies. Okay. But going on, near all Israelites. So going on, it says here that behold, it is. Like, let me read it again. Habakkuk two and twelve. It says, "Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. Behold, it is not the Lord Yahweh of Tazabawath of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire, and the people shall weary themselves for very vanity." Right. In which you have million people are literally very laboring for nothing, pennies, nothing, okay? And with these this debt based system in it, within it where it's the economy literally they're pushing dollars which they have any real true value, okay? Creating it uh so called money out of thin air, okay, which is these Federal Reserve notes and such. And of course, you have it $22 million or $22 trillion of the U.S. debt. Okay. It's, I'm going to read on. It says here For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the, power, knowledge of the glory of the Most High Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. That's going to be when, of course, the Lord uh, have us ruling and such. Okay. You have it there, through us being the elect. You know, places being filled with much knowledge and such, okay? It says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, which this drink would be other philosophy, that puttest thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that thou may lookest, look up, or look uh, on their nakedness, look at their sins and such. And that's, of course, what Esau Edom does. He give you these various philosophies and such, and he laughs at you when you, of course, are out there destroyed, okay? Destitute and such. Okay, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 and uh, 7 it says Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand which America that's Babylon that made the, all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine her philosophies okay, therefore the nations are mad and you see all these day nations of course are destroyed they're mad drunk okay off of feminism democracy Okay, you have, of course, this world literally is in wickedness due to Esau Edom ruling, okay, at the height of the hill and such, okay, the top of the governments and such, all right, due, of course, America, you know, riding upon that scholarly probably beast made on the EU, okay, these other nations have to, of course, be in agreement with them or else. Of course, you're going to invade, take your resources, destroy yourself, another leader, okay? <laughs> Which is in pockets with them. So anyway, going on, and I'm going to go back to the article. You know, I'm just going through a lot in the spirit. It says here that they got the different uh, restrooms and trailers. You know, they, of course, you had this, this station was tipped over the first day. That was put up 15 minutes on Kensington Ave reads a Facebook post from an account called Junietta or Junietta, which that's an Ephraimite uh, neighborhood, so called Puerto Rican neighborhood here in Philadelphia. New sanitizing station is being vandalized already. The pop up parties are part of the pilot program organized by the city's managing director office. It says the program's cost is around half a mil basically a quarter, what's that, a quarter million? This is 2,500,000 $2, for an installation and twice daily cleanings through the end of the year. I must note also um, this particular city managed director's office, they are 
they, their combat to, of course, this opioid epidemic is sending out crews to power wash the streets. Literally, just soap up the streets. Okay. They literally just literally put soap on the streets and just, and that's it. And literally just go. And these people literally defecate on the street soon after or during, even during. Okay. Reading on, it says each mobile restroom trailer has three toilets plus sinks. And they can, they'll be locked up each evening. I, I, I can't, of course, imagine. You have, of course, a lot of different drug addicts and such. They use these different um, toilets and such as a area where they can use without being seen some people do that okay they don't want to be seen and they'll just use it you know as many of these different businesses here in the city have issues with you have the public restrooms and you have opioid addicts they'll go in there and use their drugs overdose in there and kind of of course get access into it and then you know they of course call their fire rescue and such you know to resuscitate the person or the person could be deep okay these these drug addicts they're they're gone okay they got demons okay so anyway it says here each mobile restroom restroom trailer has the toilets they have the sink and they're locked up each evening okay here's what they have their different locations. They got Mammoth and Kensington. They got Somerset and Kensington. And hand wash and sink on Kensington and F Street. You gonna have basically it, it seems like a, hand, a what I can see is a hand sanitizer dispenser and maybe a wee bit of my water in there. You know, just to wash up, wash their hands and such, take a bird bath and such. So let's get to the actual meat and the potatoes. Tallish meat and tallish. And it says here gamble. Uh, it said. The beat up sink has already been f being fixed and strapped to a nearby telephone pole to prevent further abuse. The city plans to install a third restroom. That's a waste of money. In a month, it says a battle against human poop, which is literally defecation, right? This is what brought forth for this. So it says Philadelphia health officials have sounded an alarm of a hepatitis A. This is pestilence in July. The number of cases citywide, about 30 annually, has quadrupled in the last two years. Most of the people are at risk who are battling homelessness and drug addiction. These people that literally just sleep outside, okay, in Kensington. Like I said, you could definitely check out the, this this um this uh, actual uh, YouTube page, and it shows various testimonies. They, they different. Uh, drug addicts and such and if you just put in on the the YouTube and the search box put in Kensington opioids you'll see a ton of content you can see the activity you know, it's nothing but a, a neighborhood overrun by as you can see this girl she's literally with a syringe in her hind there okay but you know they see you know they'll use they'll put um they'll literally put something in front of themselves I mean which in Kensington it doesn't matter because they don't person prosecute you it's nothing they literally just let this happen but a lot of times i've witnessed this myself on public transport and such you have um, opioid acts they'll just put like a hoodie over themselves and you know a lot of times they walk they're walking pairs and such i am just to look over at one another and such for the time they're near, of course true friends and such they're hurting each other and Put something in front of it just to conceal what they're doing. Of course, you inject the, the opioid, you know, whatever the drug of choice is. And then just go from there. You know, a lot of they people are going, running, doing, then they run to the methadone clinics and such. There's another drug, which is worse. All right, so going on. You see it? She's literally just shooting up right there. Okay. And that's a woman. She <laughs> a monster. That's a monster, man. It's a monster. Okay, that's a monster. You just got a lot of people. They just hustling. That's it. It's nothing but a hustle. You know, that's all it is out there and such. Okay. Dead. Through the mom. 
Okay, that's that's in Kensington. That's what your Edomites, okay, they give you. They give you these synthetic drugs, and you just got all these people just, you know, running up, copping up, getting drugs. You know, hey, I got something for you. You know, and that's it. Just a bunch of whoredom. Look, this girl, girl here. Look, she looks like she's literally a babe. You know, a baby or something. Looks like she's named probably like 17, 19 years old. She'll look like that other girl that you seen on the ground, you know, in a, in a year or so. This this is what you get with Esau Edom ruling, okay? Zombies. Look at this. This is what you get, okay? The Lord's going to put this all to a, a end, okay? This is it. And, and these day girls and such, they don't care what whatever way they got to get, whatever means they got to do. You know, the prostitutes sell off their body, all right? Be pimped out, go on bandos, you know, of course, do all matters of whoredom. You know, bando is just basically a abandoned house, a vacant home and such. Did her drugs, you know, sleep, whatever. Okay, this is this is this is Kensington. All right, this is just a, a wee look off of one wee video. It get worse. You got whole blocks as this zombies. All right, whole blocks. All right, dudes just sitting there. See, she was there. Now she's up. Okay, and then you have like you got the government and stuff, municipality there trying to come out. You know, give them hamburgers and hot dogs and such. It's just a, it's just a farce. All right, and let's go back to the article. And it says here that last week the health department warned people that an employee at Young Malicious Donuts had contracted the infectious disease. So you have a donut shop. That's what all uh, Philly, you know, in the hoods and such, in the corner stores and stuff. You know, a, a shops are mostly these donut shops. A lot of the different uh, drug addicts, they congregate in front of them things. All right, so it says here, and that's where your trappers would be too, all right? You know, they get their hustle. Our trappers just dealing with drug dealers and such. Trap, that's the slang here. Um, so it goes on. Had contracted an infectious disease and anyone had eaten there sh should be tested. It says the common way the spread of disease is a contact with poop or basically your human waste, okay? That happens a lot among homeless communities yeah, because they live in, they shit where they sleep, all right? It says it amazes me that there is so much human suffering and human feces, so much dong and shite. It says through it. This neighborhood, Kensington resident Nick Fury told Billy Penn, which is this news publication I'm using at this time for this article, but people are pooping on the street. They literally, literally a gore will squat too and poop or, you know, piss, all right, right there. Pull a draws down and just do it right there and just pull them right up and they wipe their arse and nothing, all right, showing their nakedness and all. Okay, I, I seen it with my own eyes. All right, you can of course probably look up these dang they things on YouTube and see them. Not that you of course should, <laughs> but you know this is the type of things that goes on. Okay, they defecate on the on the actual streets and such. That's how low these people have become. So the people are pooping all over the street because they have no other options. Psh. All right, so let's get any precepts some more because this is just ridiculous. Gotta come to the close of this uh, this actual lesson, so I can you know basically well the spirit being turned up basically rebuking. So um, so I can't got find my phone. All right, so the preset. Let me bring out. Let me 
bring out first Timothy six and ten. And I'm gonna get Galatians five and sixteen. First Timothy chapter six and ten. It says here, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And while many, some have coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, so the, for the love, all right, of money is the root of all evil. Actually, when you love money, okay, you shouldn't, they, of course, love money. Money is a defense, but shouldn't you love it, all right? Point where you literally destroy yourself, you, you know, you, of course... would say lower your moral standards all right to go after money and such that's our compromise it that'd be the, the term actually the proper term that which i want that's ridiculous okay for the love of money and that's of course what esau push it you know just in the day music culture hip-hop industry and the media you know to of course get a career and chase money and all this other day different things or just be a hustler, drug dealer, and get money. Do drugs, okay? That, this is what in the music. So, you, of course, you got these people popping pills and doing drugs. Look, we girls, of course. We got these, they girls are already uh, messed up, okay? I'm going to bring out, I'm going to show you a wee, uh, a, a wee, um, let me see, where is it at? Women are prescribed more drugs than men, but always don't don't always take them. You have women that are already on these different drugs. Then of course they'll get more drugs. They'll go in the street get fentanyl, heroin. Okay. Esau is is the damn devil. Okay. Esau Edom is the devil. Okay. Deceiver. All right. So anyway, going back. They love these girls. They girls love these hustlers. Okay, why they hustlers? They're nothing but nothing but whoremongers. All right, pimps. Okay, got girls on blocks in K and A just selling ours from sundown to sun. Not even sundown, just twenty four hours a day, just to get it how they live. All right, so it says here, First Timothy six and eleven says, "But thou, O man of power, flee these things." And follow after Tazadakim, our, our righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, with love is keeping the commandments. That was Satan that did that noise out there. It says patience, suffering, meekness. All right. Let's say uh, get another scripture, which is going to be the book of Galatians. What was that? I mentioned six or five, actually. Gal Gal Galatians five. You're poor, supposed to, of course, keep your temple clean. Okay, it's your body. So, it's just Galatians chapter five and sixteen. It reads here. It says, "This I say then, walk in the Recha, the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." Yeah, yeah, of course. Many people thinking, oh, I'm depressed. Just being so in their flesh and not turning to Yahweh Bashem Shai, the true Lord, you Israelites. Okay? You know, you, of course, being walking after Esau, who's a carnal man. He doesn't even believe in the Lord. Doesn't he, of course, acknowledge the Lord. Okay? The Lord, he, believe, he acknowledges Satan, which that's his power. Okay? You have to walk in the spirit. So you know, of course, fulfill the lusts, all right, the, the different different desires, the uh, wicked desires of the flesh, all right, things that are in the RNA, okay, lawful or actually tama or unclean. Tama is unclean in Hebrew, in Hebrew, all right. It says, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one to the other. So that ye cannot or cannot do the things that ye would.
okay so obviously you have that spiritual battle the flesh versus the spirit okay the spirit is going to do things that's profitable to itself the flesh is going to do what it wants which is carnal okay it's not going to do the things which are pleasing unto the power that's why you got to walk and live in the actual spirit okay it says but if ye be led in the spirit ye are not under the law all right it says now the works of the flesh are manifest these are the works of the flesh these are the works of the flesh all right the deeds of the flesh right it says which are these adultery all right you have of course adultery you met when a woman sleeps with another man who is not her husband you have it us we are the, of course the lord's people the israelites and we of course take upon other philosophies and worship other gods okay that of course would be spiritually adultery all right it says fornication same thing okay it says uncleanliness and lasciviousness okay so there's a work of the flesh of cleanliness all right when you're you kind of of course know in your own mind to use a bathroom a lot of they people have families and such. They're forsaking them. Leave them off. Okay? Just for this drugs. For their drugs. Just to, of course, feel a high. To fill a void which can't be filled. Okay? You can't, of course, fill the void. You're supposed to have your how by Shemel Shai within you. And your spirit dwelling. Alright? So, anyway. You want to fill it with a drug. You feel numb. <laughs> This is crazy to escape what Esau has for you, which is a, a world of darkness. All right. It says idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies. Okay. Envy and murders, drunkenness, drunkenness right there. Now, you women supposed to be sober. You men supposed to be sober, not nay drunk. Okay. It says revelings. Okay. And such things light right when you go reveling that's basically you're going to it you got comos which means a carousal right which is a righteous possession of half drunken and frolic some fellows who after supper parade through the streets with torture and music and honored Bacchus which is Satan or which is another false god right or some other deity and Right, which you you see your riots, you going reveling when you going out in the streets of Kensington, all right, drunken, just to find a lot of your people, you know, you're um, what do you call that, dope sick, going to find uh, the next high, all right. That you right, you right reveling, okay. It says here and sing and play before who's this male and female friends, hence generally feasts and drinking parties. That are projected till late night and indulge in revelry. You know, because of Esau Edom with this YOLO lifestyle and such, he of course had people all others of the day doing this day, day things. All right. So anyway, it says, it says, like of he which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the power. So you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of power you'll be a part of that second death okay that's what you'll come a part of that nuclear lock of fire the lake of fire okay doing the things abusing your body you know defiling thy temple and such okay and you have it like you know in prophecy which i believe i was going to go into that matthew 24 it's this is matthew 24 and seven it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places okay you have of course pestilence which we're speaking of the outbreak of the hepatitis a that's a pestilence and it, it of course isn't it being really combat in proper fashion okay pestilence a plague pest disease figuratively okay or literally a disease okay right there literally a disease so we're living in the last time okay so 
And with that, I'm just going to close out. Uh, of course, uh, we'll leave links in the description box. You know, of this stuff. Some of the different day things that I uh, brought out as sources of information for you to see. You can enlighten yourself on these things. Just so you can get a better picture. Esau set all this up. You know, wickedness. Alright, he's claiming to battle this, but really... He kind of, he's, he's really the one that's making this, bringing this to be, okay? So, that one to give all praise, honor, and glory to y'all. Bless you, man. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.